Okay, so signing into Google Calendars. First thing you do is go to Google and you sign into your account. I'm in mine account right, right now. And then you select Target World. And then you go to this main menu. And this is why I like Gmail because you've got so many tools that you don't get with other email providers and it's free. And there's even more if you want to look at it, but we won't do that right now. So main event, go down to calendar. You all logged into your account. And I already created a few. We can combine them any way we like. So let's go to employee schedule to make somebody schedule. Create an event. Let's say James Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's start on let's say today the 15th at 10 a.m. until let's say 1 p.m. You can make it in all day. <clears throat> Excuse me, or you can repeat it <clears throat> in case you want to set out the whole month in advance. So let's go monthly. Um, repeat the days of the month or the days of the week. Starting never ends. Um, chances are you're going to be doing weekly. So you select what days he's going to work weekly. Never on and on. Done. Uh, everybody knows Kemper Road. You can make a video call if you want to say something specific. And this is important to remember because you don't want it to show up on just any calendar. You want to choose which calendar it goes on. Obviously the employee schedule. And then you can leave a message if you want something specific. So please sweep the ranges today. Whatever you want to tell them. You can add an attachment, a PDF. We'll color code it, add a notification like a pop-up or something like that. And you should show yourself as available and make it public because more than one person is going to be using it. But the only people that can log in and make changes to it are the ones I give permissions to. So we could talk about that later. Um, you can add people, modify the event. Oh, no, these don't really come into play too much with a schedule. So here's your schedule. You can do the whole month in advance save it and there he is it's that simple really and if you want to change it just go in double click and there it is again make your changes when you click on it actually this is what the public sees okay James is working this time this place okay you can do the whole month, like I think I said that. I said that a lot. A um, couple views. You can see a day view, a week, a month, seven days, or an agenda. Refresh after you make changes. It'll update the changes that quickly. So you see, it's really as simple as it can be. It saves a lot of time, a lot of paper, a lot of ink. So there you go.